being five foot two, uh, well, five foot three on a good hair day, uh, if I puff it up there, but uh, let's, let's face facts, I'm not tall. And all of my family, they always said, you know, you're too small, you can't do this job. Uh, you know, you're a girl, you can't do this job. And now they don't say that. Prior to me uh, getting adopted to the farmer family, I was, uh, I was a very young child. And I remember several occasions where a uh, Calgary police officer came into my residence. I remember being, I was in the kitchen area of my home in the dark. And I don't remember anyone else being there. So when I heard footsteps and voices coming, and then this man who felt like a giant to me, picking me up and taking me out of there, putting me in the bench seat in the front of the police car and letting me play with the lights that were on the dash, keeping me preoccupied while whatever was happening was happening. I do remember feeling that I was okay. I could have sat in that car all night, uh, probably the youngest ride along that they would have ever had. Um, but because I felt safe, that was so impactful for me. I continue to remember that influence of that police officer. And I, and I wish I knew who that officer was now because here I am wearing the same uniform. So I always really longed and thought that would be an exceptional profession to be a part of. But it's that self-doubt and can you do it? Can you achieve it? I tried a, a number of things before I came to, Cal to the police service because I didn't think I could achieve it. And now I know that I not only could, but I did. Um, and almost 24 years in, I can't imagine being anywhere else. I think you have a resiliency when you start as a recruit. You have to find ways to continue to foster and strengthen that resiliency factor. Because I'm telling you, my mother would cringe if she heard some of the names that were called to me out in the street. You have a choice. You can react or you can say, how do I know what's happened in their life? How do I know what the impact of a police officer has been in their life before me? Um, it's about sincerity and how you treat people and how you can try and relate to people. Because I can have influence based on what I learned as a very small child. We're not all built the same. I don't have to be a six foot two officer. What they need to feel from me is what we hold in our chest. They need to be able to feel that I actually care. Every day is different. It's so energizing. And, and a lot of the time it's turmoil. It's crazy. There's some things that a lot of us shouldn't probably de have to deal with and see. But if we don't, who is? And so you step up for that responsibility. That influence is what I keep saying, because it truly is that.